All right, everyone. So yesterday we highlighted the beginning of Texas high school football here in the crossroads with beginning of training camps for multiple teams. With that being said, though, here in the crossroads today, we'll be highlighting three 2A Division I teams this week. And tonight we start with the Ganado Indians. They come into this season as the preseason number one team after losing the state semifinals number one team in Timpson. It was a heartbreaking loss where they had the lead, but then in the second half, Timpson scored 21 and answered points, and Ganado would lose in the semifinals. So they got to find a way, and they bring back a lot of veteran experience. Senior quarterback Bryce Ullman, running back in DB and Logan Burrs, and DB wide receiver Austin Pena. And the paint also have Josh Irvin back there for the Indians as they propel to get a big season and maybe win it all this this time around for Ganado. Now moving from the gridiron to the baseball mound. A couple weeks back here on 25 News Now, I covered the High Plains Shootout where two local Victoria stars and Ryan Steele and Casey Coley competed on both Team Texas Red and Team Texas Navy. But Coley is now competing currently in another huge baseball showcase in the area code games. It's held in Long Beach, California. It's a big event here for Coley as he prepares to complete this event and then go into football season next Monday as quarterback for Victoria East. So I'm going to try to get some more information from Coley, see how he feels about this event happening here and the football season coming up later on KVU TV 25 News Now. Now over to the majors, the Houston Astros. They almost no hit the Rangers tonight at Globe Life Field. Starting pitcher Raymer Valdez did outstanding work on the mound. He threw eight and two thirds innings, recorded five Ks, only allowed one hit in total. This would be huge, but Corey Seager, man with two outs in the bottom of the ninth, he would break the no hit bid. And man, the Astros would still win the game. Four to two, Jordan Alvarez would get a big two run shot to help the Astros win. And man, that was a big little revenge game for the Astros to win over the Rangers tonight. Now over the Olympic stage, U.S. men's basketball team, they beat Brazil earlier today, 123 to 87. They were focused on again, they were up 33-21 in the first quarter. And man, Devin Booker had 18 points. Anthony Edwards, he had again 12. And LeBron James also had 12. So Team USA, they won all games in the group stage and not lost one yet. They play Serbia's Nikola Jokic on Thursday. If they win that game, they play in the gold medal match. And if they lose, they'll have to play in the bronze medal match. So wish Team USA luck. And then other information, sports analyst Charles Barkley said he's going to get out of retirement and he's going to be back on TNT Sports. Again, this is a reaffirmed long-term commitment as the network's parent company, Warner Brothers, Discovery fights to keep the NBA broadcasting rights. The Hall of Famer said he'll be back on Inside the NBA. And in June, the broadcasting icon next year will be on his last on TV. But in a statement Tuesday, Barkley walked back and he said, man, I'm coming back and finished the remainder of my contract. So good to possibly hear there for Charles Barkley. That's all here in sports. Karina.